What's up guys, Ron Parita here from Techno Buffalo, and budget phones are the trend right now, from OnePlus to anything and everything in between. When the price is right, you guys and I will buy. So what Blue has done in collaboration with Amazon is take budget phones to the next level with the R1 HD. They have released a phone for $50 unlocked with ads, that's right, with ads ads. I wanted to see what the phone was like from a hardware perspective, but most importantly, see what the ad experience was like. Can you use a phone that has built-in ads, yes or no? Let's go ahead and get started. The majority of the specs here are really not that noteworthy. You're looking at a 5-inch HD curved display, which sounds awesome until you realize that HD means 720p and curved means curved where there are black bars. There's no actual pixels there, so this is not some cheap Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, unfortunately. The 1.3 gigahertz and one gig of RAM do show after you use the phone a little bit, after having a couple apps open and having a couple of usages and having some of the RAM used up. The phone does slow down a decent bit. It's not unusable, but it's definitely not as fast as a flagship. However, that was to be expected. The low point of this phone was definitely the cameras, however. Both cameras looked absolutely terrible. I was partially excited for the five megapixel front-facing camera because it has an LED flash. However, disappointingly as a Snapchat and Instagram user, the front-facing LED flash doesn't work with those apps. You can only use the actual front-facing flash in their native camera app. So if that means something to you, it's pretty cool, but it doesn't really mean much to me because the cameras at the end of the day aren't very good. I do feel bad ripping on the phone given that it's only $50 for hardware. I mean, what were you expecting in this price range? But I will say for the positive things, the feel of the phone is great. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but the texture on the back is awesome and it feels really, really good to hold and use. Now the main question that you're all dying to find the answer to, or at least I would hope so if you're watching this video, is can you use a phone with ads? Now the ads in this experience are not going to be popping up all over the place. They're not gonna be interrupting something you're doing. They're going to be integrated into the wall paper so when you unlock the phone there will be an ad there as the background or as a notification I'm assuming depending on how much the advertiser paid I actually really didn't mind these ads and here's why they're all linked through Amazon I'm a huge Amazon user I'm a big prime advocate I love their services and I think Amazon's algorithms of recommending products are superb because of that every time I got a product recommendation I wasn't really mad given that it was a good product or something that I would buy or be interested in and also it doesn't slow you down in your experience and usage of the phone it just gives you a quick glance at some Dove soap or at a new deodorant or something along those lines depending on your purchase history on Amazon and that's really it for this video guys Obviously the hardware on this phone is not fantastic. It was not supposed to be the best. I mean, it's $50. I don't really wanna complain about that. It's just something to bear in mind. I don't want you guys going and buying something like this and comparing it to a OnePlus. It's obviously not going to be as good. The main question I had and that I was trying to answer was, are ads feasible in a phone using experience? And absolutely, I think Blue knocked it out of the park. I think Amazon does a great job with ad recommendations on products. I could see myself using a phone, even at the higher end, that has ads in the future if it takes a couple hundred dollars off of my price tag initially. I think it's totally worth it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this something you'd be willing to adopt to to save a couple hundred dollars when you buy a phone or whatever your currency is? I'm very curious to hear. Let me know in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.